this point I start like every vlog in this room and it's the way it's like the entire vlog is always in this room either way but today this vlog it's different you want to know why because we're going to LA for Casa's birthday and um, I'm gonna leave at 3 a.m. it is currently like 9 30 and last time I did this and left super early like I literally left at 3 a.m. last time when I had the YouTube thing um, I subbed for like 30 minutes I'm not doing that again. However, it, the drive felt pretty fast, okay? I didn't even stop to pee once, which is crazy because I always have to pee at least four times. It's like a six and a half hour drive. But this time I got the majority of all of my work done. I didn't get to post a lot of a Depop, which kind of sucks, but it's fine, okay? I might take some of that with me and just do that in the morning while I'm at Cass's. But now all we have to do is pack which is very good considering it is 9 30 and i think i'm only gonna pack like two maybe outfits and the rest just like casual because we're not really going to be doing anything the only thing that we're going to be doing that requires kind of an outfit is we're going to go to the pumpkin patch and that's pretty much it but like on her birthday i think she just wants to stay in and hang out and just vibe so we're going to do that we're going to pack let's think of outfits i know i said it's only like 9 30 but the way the way I don't want to do this I just want to go to bed I can't do this where I take my suitcase and throw a bunch of stuff in it I just I cannot keep doing that and I already have in my head um the outfit that I kind of wear to the patch um I'm gonna have to try it on to see I'll show you guys when I'm there but just to give you a little sneak peek I think I think I'm gonna do this top. This is like the tackiest thing I own. Um, surprisingly, this is Charlotte Russe. Um, this is very 2014 core. Old me would hate this, but I've changed, okay? The tackier, the better. And I'm gonna wear this to the pumpkin patch with these cowboy boots. Look at them. Are you kidding me my mom got me them for my birthday they are let me just let me sit down hopefully it's not too dark but this is the brand of them it is wild pear right here she got them from macy's because i was on tiktok and i saw just this random thing of this girl like showing a bunch of cowboy boots and she's like guys i'm at macy's and i'm like uh, back up what it was like the cutest cowboy boots ever immediately I texted my mom and I was like I need these because it was about to be my birthday and there was like a crazy sale going on with all that and my mom does kind of work there so she does get a really good discount with them which is why I texted her I also got these I've always wanted like chrome uh, like a type of cowboy boots it's funny because my lacrosse stick in high school was actually this chrome color and now that I think about it I wish I would have gotten a silver one but I don't even know if they carry a silver and so they are this brand sorry I'm going to all of these clothes it is Madden girl so I know there was like I don't know if the sale is still going on but there was a thing where if you like bought two you got like 30% off both boots or 40% off I can't really remember I don't know what that sale is still going on because this was right before my birthday and then I didn't even show you guys this but I thrifted this this was the back of my last vlog I don't know if you can see it this dresser type of thing let me show you yeah my whole life is a mess right now leave me alone this dresser I got it for like four dollars at the thrift and if you guys know like all of my stuff is kind of like this I've thrifted all of mine um little things like for super cheap they're really easy to find I'm kind of exposing my room and how messy it is right now but you know what it's fine it's it's just a mess over here and um I think I'm just gonna pack off camera because I need to literally pack and go to bed and I'll probably see you guys when I'm on the road or something um wait this box behind hold on i need to show you guys this because today i got the most exciting pr like ever and i just want to quickly say um because i know in my last vlog i did a pr unboxing and let me know if you guys like to see those or not because i never want to seem like look at what i got look at what i got and it just kind of in the way that i look at it like when i watch other people's vlogs i love looking at the pr they get but like for some reason when i do it 
it just feels like weirdly braggy but then at the same time i literally would not be able to get this type of pr if you guys didn't watch my videos and youtube it's a little bit different because like my i don't want to say like my life kind of changed but it really did kind of change once i started doing tiktok because that is the majority of where i get the most um i guess interaction and things like that i still love my youtube family obviously that's I've literally been doing it since 2015 but like TikTok has truly changed my life and when I receive PR like I don't have to make videos I don't have to do anything like that and I know I did I know there's like a lot of people especially in LA that when it comes to PR or brand sending them stuff they don't want to like showcase it unless they get paid and for me it's never been like that like i want to show you guys this stuff for free because it's almost like look at what we got because again i would not be able to get this if nobody watched my videos which is insane to me and this is like one of those brands that's kind of like full type of circle and it is fancy beauty which is crazy because i remember when the makeup first launched it's when i it was going to school in sf and the urban that i worked at was right across the street from sephora and it had just launched i immediately went i got the foundation and the little like uh highlighting brush and it, like everything was like selling out but because i worked at one in like sf there was like a bigger stock but it's just crazy because i literally got the foundation in the same shade that i wear i remember i did like a review on it in my tiny little like the bedroom that I literally had to share with my roommate in college and this is in the shade 210 and I should remember like I don't know it's just it's literally crazy to me that now I get to do this but granted this PR box is a little bit different because it kind of ties in with like the beauty fest that I went to a couple months back but it's still really cool so I wanted to maybe give you guys just a quick little haul so of course I got the pro filter foundation again in the color 210 i just love the sleek packaging of it and then i also got the ease drop blurring skin tint and this one i actually put it on my face i got it in the shade 12 and i got it in the shade 12 because it kind of showed me online the um like if you're the shade in this then you'll be the shade in this like skin tint type thing so that's why i got this i did get matched when i was at beauty fest but i don't remember what my shade was or anything and when i put this on this is like way different like it is a more orangey tone on me versus like my foundation is more of a gray tint and when i was applying it because i didn't put it on with a um like found a uh, beauty blender i actually applied it with the brush that it came with it is the um full body foundation brush and it looks like this sorry this is not focusing i can't really see see that much but it kind of looks like this and since it was a skin tint i was like well why not but i love to apply my foundation with a beauty blender which is um crazy because i was like why not do it with the brush and i put it on and it was like again an orange tint versus i'm used to mine being more of a gray tint and i was like did I just like get the completely different shade but then I went out in natural light and was like looking and it seems to be fine I'm wearing it right now the skin tint I'm gonna keep playing around with it though because I'm curious to see what it looks like with the beauty blender versus a brush but it kind of looks I don't know the same like to me like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation which I feel like is crazy I don't know if you could see like I mean look like i guess it's like a pretty good match obviously it looks way different in person natural lighting things like that but I, like it's good that at least on screen it looks like there's some type of um not a big noticeable difference so i got that and then the next thing that i was really excited about is the lip gloss my og used to be the like original the very first one that they came out with where the bottom actually hold on let me actually move you guys closer i don't know why i had you so far away but like literally i got this when i first came out it is called glass bomb and look at it look it's like completely crusty um it's not called glass bomb anymore it's like an actual shade name now but when it first came out they only had this and it was called the glass bomb and i got to actually pick like through the emails and stuff um the lip gloss shade that i wanted and every time i'm at like an ulta or sephora 
I always actually is this even sold at Ulta? Maybe just Sephora. I don't know. Anytime, regardless, I'm at Sephora, I look at the clear gloss and I always want it. It's in the shade glass slipper. It's just a clear gloss. I'm actually wearing it right now. And you can still see there's a shine on it because I did wear this for like my OOTD. But since then I've literally had soup, everything, and it still has like a nice shine on it. Let me actually put it on. Again, it's just a normal clear gloss, but the scent gives me so much again nostalgia from just like my urban days and um again when I lived in SF and stuff but oh my god it's just like the perfect clear gloss I am just so like it's crazy to me that again just full circle like I love this lip gloss it's one of my favorite formulas ever is like when I tell you I used and abused that lip gloss and I got a bunch of the sticks so I can tell you right off the bat I use this today this is in the color suede -ish, and it's a, a match stick it's the matte skin stick thing I don't know like how different they all are but this is like one of the contour sticks and I used it today again I used a brush usually when I wear like some type of foundation I'll put it on and then I'll blot it with a beauty blender because I don't want my stuff to move but today I just did things differently so I blended it in with a uh, brush which is weird but it is just like a contour stick and I can tell you I'm already gonna repurchase this specifically for my nose contour I again barely really did my normal face today but I can just the way it blends everything it's literally so good and again the packaging is just freaking adorable I also got um a highlighting type of thing this is in the color ice cream and again I don't really know how good you could see it but I have it on my nose I didn't even use a uh what is it called a powder highlight on my nose which I always do I literally put this on and it looks like I put a powder highlight over my nose it again is in the color ice cream I don't even know let me see if I could like show you can you see that like oh my are you're kidding you're kidding I love this again I just put it straight down my nose I kind of patted it like this with my finger and I also put it all over my lid and then I set it with a powder however these are like supposed to dry down kind of like powder in a way I'm pretty sure and then the last one I got is I don't know if this is a concealer so this is a correcting skin skin stick so it's like a I guess you could call this a color corrector which i don't think i really realized so i got the color <laughs> banana um just because i that's like usually like in terms of powder is stuff that i get and it's just a regular like yellow i guess color correcting but i actually took my finger and blotted it down and kind of layered it and used it as concealer and it seemed to kind of work i have again a lot of like zits and stuff which i tried to put over but it didn't really work as good as my concealer but this is like very fluffy when i put it on so when i was putting it underneath i don't know it was like actually very very good i liked this before that and then one of the other things i got is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo and this this one is so good I again love the packaging I love that it kind of reminds me of honeycomb and stuff and I got the shade um which one is this this is the one that has mean money and hustla baby so what I actually like so it's kind of like a gold highlighter but there's this one and it's very like sheen and like shimmery so I actually used this I took my finger straight and just applied it over my lid and it almost made my lids look this is like terrible lighting but I don't know if you can see like it almost makes it look like it's wet like I love that lately I've been doing the Jaclyn Hill highlighter and I think iced I'm pretty sure is what it is and I just take it straight up with my finger and I go like this and it gives my lids the wet look that's what I've been doing when I'm not wearing any eyeshadow and I just want to do like my powder wing so I really liked doing that and you know what why not swatch it let's see if it's gonna like show up or do anything so I'm gonna actually show you this one right here so I have some on the back of my hand and maybe you'll be able to kind of see like can you see that 
see it won't even show up like oh, oh you can kind of see it right there it makes it look wet again it's very hard to tell because it's like literally the same color as my skin but you can see it's giving it like a sheen to where it appears wet and again i did um the this one and then i layered this one over i don't know i just i thought it was pretty freaking good and then the last thing is that i got is actually just a regular beauty blender but yeah that's it i um, didn't mean to give you guys such a long haul but hopefully you enjoyed that again um let me know if you do like to see pr stuff i personally like to share it because um you guys deserve to see what i get in the mail like i don't care that it's like free publicity for the brands or something like i don't care like i don't have to do this but i show it to you guys because it's like like you deserve to see it like because of you i get to do i don't know whatever <laughs> i'm gonna stop bothering and actually freaking sit down and pack and stop procrastinating but most people are like ew whoa what the fuck is that because it's unusual you know all i want right now is a pumpkin cream cold brew from starbucks because i literally feel like i'm gonna pass out and the fact that i'm literally like an hour and 50 minutes away from a Starbucks is ruining my life because the drive to LA from like the general I guess Sacramento region is so boring there is nothing to look at and half the time there's no service but I ended up leaving at like four ish uh, because I didn't end up really packing uh, I literally got up at 3 a.m. and packed and then um, decided to drive and finally it's light outside for me to film in the car but um, yeah I am just so tired I had a coffee already but I need another one I'm like trying to power through um, which is why I turned on the camera because I feel like it's like forcing me to be awake and I could easily stop at like the truck stops I love stopping at truck stops they have like so many cool things but I don't want to stop last time when I drove to LA I didn't stop once I don't want to stop once again but I just really would love a um, cold brew right now I need to wake up and uh, pumpkin cold brew sounds really good right now so I have to wait like two hours and of course <laughs> why does this always happen to me I didn't charge my camera why don't I ever charge my camera? It's literally blinking at me that it's about to die. So um, I'm gonna preserve this and then I'm gonna show you when I get my Starbucks. I got it and they made it just right. I'm not joking. I got this the other day and they literally ruined it. Whoa, it tastes so next so level to save 20% on your first order. That's the the girls next level podcast. But it literally tasted so bad. Like if I'm paying almost like seven dollars for a drink, it better taste good. And um, yeah, this just literally made my day. I just like sent in the order through the app. So by the time I came here, um, it was ready. And I, if you guys like usually watch my channel, I always talk about how I only like black coffee with like a little bit of almond milk. But like something about this, it's like not that sweet. I get only one pump instead of two pumps of vanilla. And then I also got two extra shots because I'm tired. And now we're ready to really, you know, get the show on the road. <laughs> You're my vlog. <laughs> oh my God. It's a sushi cake. How do you feel about this sushi cake? I'm ready to eat all of it. I am now back home it's a couple days later and again you guys are probably gonna be like Violet you literally did not film listen to me when I tell you we didn't even go to the pumpkin patch we literally sat in her apartment the entire time I was there it was literally so fun we watched catfish we did literally ate so much whole foods pizza we carved pumpkins and things like that but there was like I, what was I gonna film us just sitting you know that'd be weird so um we didn't even go to like a restaurant so i couldn't even film that so that's why there was literally no footage for her actually actual birthday it was really fun she had all her friends over and we just got extremely intoxicated okay i literally like blacked out pretty much i blacked out and i woke up at like six o'clock the next morning and i was like 
Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't remember falling asleep. So it was really fun. It was nice catching up. And um, yeah, so that's why there is that lack of LA footage, okay? Again, I had every intention. You guys saw, I actually, I'm trying to readjust, but you guys saw, I actually, you know, tried to film me driving there and stuff. But when I got there again, I like, we just chilled in sweats tv like the entire time so yeah that's why there is nothing there so i just wanted to give that little update however i finally organized my beauty room and i just wanted to show you guys some changes i also don't have the beauty light in here because i kind of want you guys to like feel the ambiance of everything with the light in the back i just it's so cozy in here with it now so the only thing i changed is you guys saw before i left my camera ran out of battery so I had to readjust but you guys saw how messy it was and how I had this little thing sitting on like the opposite side right there so I found a place for it right here and I feel like it matches everything like again all the drawers and stuff I am just obsessed with it and what I ended up doing is I laid down some of my favorite little playboys like this one right here is the Paris Hilton one and then I I think I have who do I have oh I have Pamela Anderson underneath that one and then right here you guys know I have a girls next door I have the playboy um, <laughs> the playboy the house funny and then i have cindy crawford right there and when you actually go in here i laid out all of my body sprays and this literally reminds me of being in um like in eighth grade when i used to collect the bath and body Works sprays but these are just the ones i use in everyday outfit of the days they were sitting behind right there and i just didn't like how cluttered it looked so these are all my miss this pink sugar one is literally definitely one of my favorites it smells so good and then my favorite thing is actually this right here so I finally have a place to put all of my palettes they used to sit in these right here but the problem was you can kind of see the space it I had them stacked so I couldn't see these are not palettes these are just like highlighting and blushes so that's why this part is a little bit easier but in terms of palettes I just couldn't really see them so I never used a lot of them so I just try to organize it from like longest to shortest kind of do that and then also Cass gave me this Def Leopard one which I thought was really cool um I haven't tried that one yet and I also got this pop beauty one some new ones I really want to try the sparkles in here and oh also this Kesha one if you guys know she came out with like her own thing I think with hip dot or something and I don't know what happened to that hold on I'm gonna set you guys down right here but it is like kind of like a really cool it's definitely not my aesthetic at all but I thought it was just I don't know there's some really cool colors in here I know the lighting is like really really shitty right now but again it's because I want to like show you guys the ambiance every of everything but I use it I think it's which one is it there's one in here that I use I think it might be TikTok. actually I might be lying to you I'm pretty sure I've used no I'm just gonna stop talking because I can't remember I, I think I used one of these for my lids and I want to say it was TikTok for because I always like to have like some sparkle on my eyes so I have all of them in here and then in terms of like my collaboration palettes I have them in here meaning like you know I have Tati's palette I have Carly Bibles with BH Cosmetics I have Jeffree Stars I am not gonna get rid of this okay this is one of my favorite palettes ever and then of course I have the two Jaclyn Hill palettes her first one that she had is hands down like one of the best palettes ever it is literally probably one of my favorite ones and then also Amrezy Amre Amrezy I don't know Amra she has a really like probably had one of the best palettes with Anastasia like look oh my gosh if I created a palette with them this is exactly what it would look like and the inside I know I did a video with this a while back when I used to do um more makeup videos but the colors in here are literally so pretty like that blue one right there also like the pinks in it very very pretty and then of course you know I have Carly Bible's original palette fun fact literally I think my first makeup video or my second not makeup video um video ever on youtube was actually the carly bible palette where i did this i will link it below um it's one of the very few videos that did not get deleted off my channel because i had a very um 
very crappy thing happened to me where I had one of my old friends delete all my YouTube videos back in the day. So that was very fun. So I lost a lot of footage from that. And uh, now we have all this, okay? This very beautiful vanity situation. I reorganized all of my jewelry and things like that. I have some of my hair stuff in here because I realized that I hate doing my hair in the bathroom. So I just found this little bin from the thrift store and I just keep a couple of things in there. I don't like to keep this light on my vanity because it makes it look very cluttered. So I just pull it out and then I have the little cord right here that kind of plugs into it. And then when you move over, I just love the vibes of this room last night. I was drinking red wine and watching housewives on my little desktop and it was just very like I'm telling you that light made all the difference I am obsessed with it you know we have like the whole computer section over there and then um, my closet I kind of want to get like some beads or something you know those like really tacky ones just so it doesn't look so dang cluttered there's nothing I could do about it um it's my closet what can you do and then of course some new stuff that I haven't styled yet and then I put the little beanie on the bear but yeah that is pretty much it for you know it being very clean and normal now i also got a couple things from versed i am obsessed with this headband and i actually ended up getting this mint one this time i got this daily brightening moisturizer that i'm really excited to try i actually already have this one i keep it at hannah's house for when i stay the night and now i have one here i love this dark spot gel and then i have some backup sunscreen i also have one thing in the shower it is this exfoliator and I really really like it. I used it one time and Exfoliating is definitely something that I put back in my routine because as you guys know my breakouts So I am very excited to see how this one does